Now let's say you have to drill a specific depth on a lathe, on a manual lathe, and you don't really know where to start or what to do. I would suggest this took me about an hour, two hours to make. All I did was I took a round two and bored it out to fit the ram of my tail body. And the ram is the thing that the cylinder that slides in and out of your tail body whenever you're cranking the handle. All right, so this slides onto my tail body. And this is so that I can put a travel indicator on top of my tail body. And as I'm cranking that handle, I can put my travel indicator on this, zero it out. And this moves with the handle on the ram. And this is a bolt welded to a bolt. So it's a handle and a tapped hole in my ring so that this bolt can screw on there. And all I did was put this bolt in, I want to say I put it in a mill and I just end milled out this little hole first inside of the bolt. And then I turned a brass piece in order to press into the end of the bolt. So that way, whenever I'm clamping on my ram, I'm not marking it with the end of my bolt. I'm mar and because brass is soft and it will not mark it. So this slides onto the ram. I use my handle, my bolt handle to tighten onto the ram. And then I put my travel indicator on this piece. Next, I will show an example of how I do that. Hey, okay, you are now looking at my tail body of my manual lathe. And as you can see, I slide the ram out. I slide my ring on. So let me back off the bolt. Slide my ring on. And I'm gonna clamp it down. And this has saved me many hours. So sometimes you have to suck it up and take the time and make the things that you know you're gonna need in order to save time in the long run. So there we go. So now I have that. So I'm gonna walk over here to my travel indicator, which is an amazing uh, travel indicator base. And you can uh, find this on our recommended tool section. And you buy it, whenever you click on the link, it takes you to Amazon and you can buy it on Amazon. But I had a machinist work here that had uh, this particular base and it is very very nice so all I do is I bump my travel indicator up up against the steel piece that I've made and then as I drill I can zero it out and as I drill it moves along with my travel indicator now if you're gonna get a travel indicator I would suggest getting a uh, o to two inch travel indicator because 90% of the time when you buy a one inch travel indicator you're gonna end up needing one inch 100 thou so I bought a two inch travel indicator from Amazon and I also bought the uh, the base from Amazon and they work great I have people borrow it all the time which drives me crazy but that's okay because is a very useful tool and it saves a lot of time but this is how you drill to a specific depth other than that you can always rig up a v-block that rests on your um, your ram just macgyver something up and have your travel indicator resting on it that way as you're cranking the handle the travel indicator goes with it in order to touch off your drill on a part that already has a hole in it you can slide a parallel and barely touch off the tip of your drill to a piece of material, a ground piece of material. As long as you know the thickness, you can move the thickness using your travel indicator and re-zero it out. That way you are sitting the, ed the tip of the drill to the tip of the, the edge of the face of your part. Other than that, that is a very quick basic way of locating your drill and getting a depth on a manual lathe.